Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thanks for joining me for our Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. So what I'm going to do today is pull three of the, um, you know, the surprise dies in the um, carton here um, just so that I can get a little bit caught up. I'm trying to be done with this by the end of August and I inserted other videos throughout the month um, just for some variety for you. And so now I want to kind of um, continue to keep this going as well. So we're going to do a three today and that would be days 20 through 22. So let's get started. Okay, so here is 20. Actually, here's 21 and 22, all right here. So maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> So here are the three dies that we got, a little bee, a bottle, and a little birdhouse with a bird. That's super cute. I really like that. And I like the bee. I think I might do a project with those together. And this, this totally speaks to what I've been saying all along is that maybe I should just open them all up because this would have gone perfect with the glass die that I got previously. And so that is annoying to me. <laughs> so I don't know, you guys let me know. Should I just go ahead and open up the rest of them next time? I would be, <laughs> would love to hear what your thoughts are because you know, do I really wanna do something with a bottle? Not really, <laughs> just being honest because I already did one with the wine glass. So, all right, guys, that's enough of me kind of whining. <laughs> I'm going to get crafting. I am excited about these two, so I'll be back. Okay, so here are the dies cut out. Here is the birdhouse and the birds. And then you also get a cutout of a heart, which you could use as confetti, um, which is nice. I really like this die a lot. And here is the bottle. It is nice and fat and it has a big place where you could put cheers or a note or something. And here is the little bee die and it gives an outline of the die. And if you save the pieces and cut it out in another color like I did here in black, you can insert the black pieces into, you know, the spaces that are cut out. So these are really nice. Let me show you what I've created. So I created a card with the bee and bird houses and I used a background from the Vectezi um, website. I love their backgrounds. I, you know, you get a vision in your head and using their backgrounds make it really come to life. So I wanted to have you know, trees and then have birdhouses hanging from them. So I found this background with the leaves hanging. And so I put some of the birdhouses up on uh, adhesive foam and then some flat just to give dimension. And then I cut some of the birds with the paper uh, the opposite way, you know, fold it down so that I could have the birds going in both directions. I used a stamp to create the line that holds the birdhouses, you know, from the tree down. Make sure that it looks like they're hanging there. And here's what I was talking about, about piecing the bee together where you can put uh, different colors on the inside of the outline of the bee. And it really looks good. I really like that. And I used a sticker from Bloom Street and it says hello here. Now how I got my uh, birdhouses like this was that I cut out this is all Bloom Street that I've used for this card 
I cut out the birdhouse in the pattern paper and then I cut it out again in a solid color and then I would go through, it cuts it out like this, I would cut off the roof and then I would cut off the end of the birdhouse and I would take those pieces and then glue them on to the pattern birdhouse. What you're left with actually is this and I was trying to find a way to use these. I was thinking like if you put this on a tag, it could be the hole for the tag or something like that. But you get a lot of pieces with um, these particular dies. Um, so you can have many thing, many uses for them. So I did layer this up a little bit and on the inside I put some other birdhouses and here I actually put, uh, I swapped the heart color so that the pink was here and the green was here and glued all those flat so that you could still have room to write a sentiment. So I think this turned out really good. I love the hanging birdhouses, they're so cute. So I used the background the way that it came and it made the card seven inches long and five inches wide and of course it opens at the top instead of the side. But I'm really liking that a lot. So here is the second item that I created. It is a tag and with all the whining that I did about having another, you know, about having a bottle die, I actually end up loving what I did. So um, the first thing I did was cut out the bottle and then I actually cut out the label. I've just left the very skinny outline of the bottle. And then once I had the bottle um, cut out the outline, I took another piece of um, ocean paper that I had from World Beaches from Paper House and I back that. And then once I back that, I cut this little bitty um, ship out of my Cricut Maker. I can't believe how well it cut that out. I mean, this is only uh, three fourths of an inch wide and I love that. And then I, wh what I did was I took the bottle and I added some glue down in the bottom corner here and I added some Brie Reese texture sand and then I added some micro beads, ocean and silver from Recollections to the same area here. And it just made it look like it was sand or the ocean bottom. And then that the I put the ship there, making it look like it kind of sunk and it got stuck there, you know, like in the ocean. And I don't know, I just really love how that turned out. And then I put it up on this like reef here where the shells are as if this was part of the beach because you'll see the paper back here is sand and that's also from the World Beaches paper pad. It's really old. <laughs> and um, so I put this on there. I put the bottle in these little hooks, I guess, if you will, of the coral here. I guess that's what that would be or reefs and set it in there as if the water came out so low that this showed up and that you could see the bottle there. And what I did down here to get it to look like the ocean foam, you ever see, you know, the white foam that it happens from the water, I used Tim Holtz Distress Grip Paste and I painted that down here in waves. I even put it on the actual sticker just to kind of blend it a little bit. And then I added some jute twine at the top. And I'm really loving how this turned out. <laughs> For me not wanting to make anything with a bottle dye, I actually am happy with what I did and surprised that I did something like this. So I hope you like that as well. So that's my crafts for the day, everyone. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.